Hey folks, Rich Burdess here from Brighter Days in Christchurch. This is just a quick clip tutorial how to use Power Automate to send multiple emails, each with a unique attachment based on the matching data between the, a list and a document library. So if we step through the um, main list, so I've got a list, for example, and this has got a unique identifier. It could be anything, it could be an ID number. For this, it's the email address that I want of my students um, in my list so it's just three at the moment um, just for an example and then I have a document library uh, with different types of documents in there and then I have a column here called student email which matches the same uh, values that exist in the title column for the students list they don't have to be the title list column they could be another column um, but just have to have something that matches the two records okay so it could be in the file name, it could be a, a unique column, but just have something that can form a pair or a key between the two items. Um, so let's go ahead and build a workflow to query, first of all, this list, get all of the items in this list, and then go into the document library and get each file per email address listed. So we start off, let's go into my flows, Oh, I see. Want to go create, and we're going to go new. Um, this one's going to be an instant because I'm just going to push it from a, um, a button. So you can call it whatever you want. Do it. Spell email right. All right. So the first step is manual trigger flow. Next one is let's get items. So we're going to go to SharePoint, and we're going to get items. Oh. It's good that it can work out what I'm trying to do, even though I can't spell get right. So get items, uh, and then we're going to find a list. This is in the technology site, um, and the SharePoint list we're going to use is called My Students. And then at this point in time, we're just going to get all the items, okay? And then we do a new step. And then this step is get files. So get files, properties only at this point in time. So we're going to do that. Again, the site collection is technology the library name is just documents for this example and then we're going to click on show advanced options and we're going to use filter query um, and then in the filter query we're going to do a match if I show over here in the technology library so we've got that column in the library we've got a column called student email um, make sure you use the, the internal name for this um, and if that's the one we're going to use so we're going to go student email make sure you spell it right unlike me and then it's o data so it equals is eq and then we're bringing back a text value so it's a single speech mark and then what i can do over here is get the column that matches right so in this list get items which is the step here where we're getting the student my students list is the title column is the column that i'm going to use to use as my unique identifier to match the records. As soon as you click it, it's going to put it into an apply to each step. That's totally fine. The one thing you need to check whenever you work with Power Automate and you're using OData queries is that you have a closing single speech mark at the end of your text expression for OData. And I always like to save it there because I found that if I carry on, this little guy on this side sometimes gets removed um, as I move into another step. So basically what we're doing now is we're going to go get items and then we're going to get all the files that match each row in the in the items list. We're going to get a row or a file back per one. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is get the file content because we want to send an attachment. Um, and to send an attachment in Power Automate, you need to get file content. So add an action, um, get file. But what we want to do is scroll through here um, and you want get file content. So click that. Again, it doesn't know that it's gonna it's gonna do another, it's gonna put us another apply to all here because it could be multiple content per person found. So we go through, we select our technology library again. And then the key here is the name of the file content that we want to get is called file identifier. So in your dynamic content type in ident or identifier. You don't want ID, you want identifier. And you want to check that you're in the correct step. 
get files for properties only. So for up here, we get the files for properties. That has the unique identifier for the document um, or the file, and then we use that in this step. So tap that in there. That will put in a second apply to each, which is completely fine because um, it's going. We don't know that there could be more files, more than one file per attachment. All right. So now we've got file content. The next steps super easy again. We're just basically going to send an email. So send email. So send DM. You can use the mail or Outlook email v2. Uh, the two column. When you first grab that, you want to use dynamic content because you want to send this to the student. Uh, in this example, it could go to someone else. Um, and what you'll find sometimes, we know that the student's email lives in the get items list right at the top, so the list of my students. Um, and sometimes when Power Automate loads, you're going to get just a couple of items because it's, it's trying to be helpful. In this case, it's not helpful because we want to use the title column. So title, we just basically click see more, see less, see more and then select title. So that title there is coming in to match that title in our list of items. All right, so we've got the title and then subject can be anything you want. And then the body of the email, you can type your message. And then to put an attachment into an email in Power Automate, you wanna click show advanced options. So click advanced options and then you've got two fields to fill out per attachment and so when you send a message or an attachment outlook wants to know the type of file that you're sending okay so the name isn't just the name of the file like you know document it's document dot docx or pdf dot pdf um, so it needs to know the extension as well so what i do um, in that step is i'll do file name so under my get files I've got a, uh, an action or a property called file name with extension and under get items I've got it as well so make sure I select the right one let's get files okay so grab that and then under content so as you click into attach with content the first item that should show up unless you're doing multiple get properties under get file content is file content that's the one you want okay because then that's the name of the file with the extension and that's the actual guts of the file that create the document um, and then we just keep that into that second apply to each so this will send an email based on every file that finds one email per file at this point in time so this is the, as far as I'm going with this little demo but it should give you enough um, to make it work but then click save and because we're running this on a manual button it's really easy to test so I can click test and I'll perform the trigger action so let's send that and then it's going to check you've got that just click continue and then run the flow and then the magic will happen um, so we've gone off we've got the items in my list the three items and then for every item we found we're looping through and there we have file ran successfully um, and then I've basically for each file content it's found items and we sent emails to so that's the, the insides of the email and if we go over to mail there's my email it's just come in um, anything you want and then this is a blank word document there's nothing in it but it's just an example to show you it's just a test only but there's that one um, and it's also sent a PDF uh, to um, another address if I can get that up drag that email over hold on one sec so for this another email so a different email address to this account a PDF sent through um, and then that would open up with the, the, the email body so it will work for all file types as long as you use um, the get file name with extension and then Outlook will be clever enough to know that it's a PDF it's an Excel file it's a Word document that sort of thing so I hope that helps uh, understand how you can attach a dynamic file per list item with a matching record or ID between a list and a file um, so hope that helps um, keep on power wrapping and power automating thank you